Yeah. <laughs> we uh, we took our time, but we got there in the end, chat. We took our time, but we got there in the end. Okay. Few tiny little bits to make sure you can see as much of the screen as possible. You can see as many of my antics as possible. <laughs> Spoiler alert. There will be many antics. I'm ready. Pumpkin in charge of the captures today. And now for Mass Effect 2. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Stop it, OBS. All right, I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Start new career. Feel like that's what I am doing right now. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> Let's go. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Secrets. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Oh, okay. Profile reconstruction due to your covert N7 status. Oh. Ooh. ID records are incomplete. Please confirm identity from the records below or register manually. Wait, so I'm so, I'm so, I'm so deep in the levels of identity unknown that I have to confirm who I am because they don't know. <gasps> She's ginger. Alliance Marine. Please okay. Please log in to access your profile. Well, I, I guess we better be Colo, right? I don't quite know what the controls are going to be for this. Can I... Please log in to access profile reconstruction complete. Can I be Colo? Please log in to access Oh, I can. Profile. I have to do it on the mouse. I can be Colo Shepherd. Colo Shepherd. License to kill. I feel deadly already. Profile reconstruction. Feel like a beast. Feel like I'm ready to go. Origin Earthborn. Reputation Soul Survivor. Soul Survivor. Shut the front door. All right, let's go. Once you are confirming your character is complete, you will be unable to change any settings. Look, my name's Colo. I'm Ginger. I'm in space. What more could I want? Confirmed. Okay. So I think this is the right settings. So we are going to play on casual. Uh, the primary reason for that is because my hands don't work properly. Uh, you see many YouTube videos that I've made about this. And I use an adaptive controller. So it actually gets painful for me to play games for a long period of time. So the easier I can make it for myself, the better. Because the less pain I'm going to be in. Um, and also, I just want to have the story without the stress so we can play on casual. Um, I believe that this is the right set of things. Uh, Musi did, did tell me, hey, this is what you need to do. So we're just going to go for that. <clears throat> Here we go. Fion, this is so many bits. Holy butts. Fion, what? Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of her family. Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for herself. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Hell yeah. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force of something! What was it? What was it a force of? <laughs> we will never know! Damn! The Arcturus Prime relay is in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. We are connected. 
calculating transit mass and destination. Where we going? Some really cool shit. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. How am I gonna know what buttons to press? Looks very complicated. <laughs> Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Look at this dude! Just Drift. another day in the office! Just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Whoa! The captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Oh my god, please tell me I'm not timed. I don't have enough information. Option four, please. Uh, more information. Uh, I don't want to tell them to shut up because that's a bit rude. But also, but also shut up. <laughs> that's enough. Your soldiers act like it. Sorry, Commander. Joker. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Um... Man, the choice is going to be so overthought throughout the entirety of this playthrough. I'm going to have to think a million times through. Like, I don't want to say any of these because I don't feel like I have enough information. But telling somebody who is the person who just jumped us halfway across a galaxy or something that, that it's... No, let's just... All right, I heard. I heard. Let's do that. Let's do... Do I do that? Oh, I don't know if I do that. Yeah, all right. I'm on my way. Okay, all right. Let's just pick the it's neutral the option. Captain always sound a little pissed off. I mean, only when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> all right. Press this button. That's this one. Okay. Map. That's going to be very useful. Ooh, I've got a funky little symbol. Look at that. It's like a Pac-Man. <laughs> I'm going to eat the flag. <laughs> Kolo plays Mass Effect. <laughs> also, Kolo plays Pac-Man within Mass Effect <laughs> instead of playing Mass Effect. Um, okay. Uh, vehicle, bridge, combat, information center. Okay. Um, do, can I... Okay, so I can't do that anymore. So we're going to go squad. What's happening here? The squad screen lets you view your team's talents. Right. Oh, Lord. Talent trees. Uh, spend a talent in gain rank in the selected talent. As you gain levels, you will acquire talent points and unlock higher ranks. Okay. Oh, my goodness. This is so complicated. <laughs> Wait, toggle helmet. Can I put one on? But then I won't be as ginger. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Okay, hold on. Uh, journal. I will check in with you in just a minute, chat. Bear with me. <laughs> on the Normandy. Go speak to... All right. Okay, got it. Uh, so that's like our quest situation. Personal history summary. 
profile. What do, we, what do I get to see? Can I go up? How does... Uh, I'm not entirely sure if I'm able to... To go up from there. I want the one above that, but I'm not entirely sure if I'm able to do that. I want to see my... I want to see my personal history summary. <laughs> but I'm not sure if I can. Alright. Uh, oh, it's here, it's here. You were born on Earth, but you never knew your parents. A child of the streets, you learned to live by your wits and guts, surviving in the hidden underbelly. <laughs> I feel like I need to say that like, hidden underbelly. <laughs> hidden underbelly. Of the megatropolists of humanity's homeworld, eager to find a better life. You joined the Alliance military when you came of age. You volunteered for an expedition to Ak a lush world on the outskirts of Alliance space that had suddenly dropped out of contact. Arriving on the surface, your patrol found the settlement intact, but no survivors. At nightfall, the Thresher Moors struck, mindless abominations of teeth and tentacles that... What? Mindless abominations of teeth and tentacles that rose up from beneath the earth? Oh my god, that sounds horrific. Constant gunfire couldn't drown out the shrieks of your fellow soldiers as they were dragged down to a gruesome death. Oh. 50 marines died on a koozie. You are the only one to make it back to the landing zone alive. A monument on the planet commemorates the massacre, a grim reminder of the price humanity must pay as they spread throughout the stars. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! Holy butts, this game is gonna hit hard, isn't it? This game is gonna hit hard. The Alliance is the government and the military of... So Ooh, timeline! Okay. 2069, nice. Armstrong Outpost at Shackleton Crater. At Shackleton, as in like... The famous explorer, Shackleton, becomes the first human settlement on Luna. It is formally founded on July 24th, the 100th anniversary of the first lunar landing. Tw 2103. Lowell City in Eos Chasma, Chasma becomes the first human settlement on Mars. Energy Corporation demonstrates helium-3 fuel extraction from the atmosphere of Saturn. Whoa. Construction of... Gagarin Station? Beyond the orbit of Pluto? Oh my goodness, that's really cool. Prospectors discover the Prothean ruins at Promethei Platinum on Mars. Shut the front door. Translation of Pro Protean, maybe? Data leads humans to the Ch Ch Charon Ch Mass Relay. Systems Alliance founded to coordinate exploration and colonization of extrasolar worlds. 2151, a shipping incident at Singapore International Spaceport exposes downwind communities. What? Oh my goodness. 30% of the children born in Singapore after element zero exposure suffer from cancerous growth. Oh my God. Systems Alliance begins settlement of Earth's first extrasolar colony world, the planet Demeter. 2154, Commander Shepard born. It's me. <laughs> it's it's me. Systems Alliance occupies System Alliance occupies completed portions of Architrus Station as headquarters. Some children of Singapore exhibit minor telekinetic abilities. Okay. Turians encounter human explorers. First contact war, occupation and liberation of the human colony of Shan... Shan... Tsai? I have no idea how to pronounce any of these words. Humans learn potential of biotics. An international effort to track element zero exposures begins. Roughly 10% of exposed children some show some level of biotic ability. <gasps> All right, so stand by. So we've like, we've gone from saying hello to the moon for the very first time and then suddenly like everyone's dying <laughs> data 
Uh, I was born somewhere in the middle of this. This is a lot to take in. This is a this is a lot to take in within the first like five minutes of playing a game to suddenly be like, oh by the way, here's the state of humanity over the last few hundred years. It's so much to take in. Like what? Is there gonna be a pop quiz? Is there gonna be a? Is it gonna? <laughs> I could be tested on this later. It's not all gonna sink in. All right. <clears throat> okay. System Alliance Parliament formed. Humans establish embassy on Citadel. Batarian slavers attack the Alliance colony of Mindor. Sky... Skylian? Oh, that's nice to say. Skylian. That's like parallelogram. My favorite word is parale parallelogram. Para parallelogram. Skylian. That's nice to say. It's nice to say. Say it. It's nice to say. Uh, pirates and slavers attacked the Elysium, the human capital in the Skylian Verge. Skylian. Skylian. Thresher Moors devour the Alliance colony. Oh, all right, so that's the that's that's the thing that I was the sole survivor of. God, that sounds terrifying. I can't imagine what that must be like to see your your basically your entire squad just be Oh Lord, this is a bit much, chat. Costs a bit much. In retaliation for the Skylian Blitz, an Alliance fleet wipes out an army of slavers on the moon of Torfen. 2183 current date. Wow. So how old am I? Okay. Not far off, not far off real world, Colo, huh? Um, equipment. <laughs> Oh, that wasn't supposed to be a jump scare. Uh, equip and upgrade gear for your squad. Okay. All right. Breaks down the selective item into Omni Gel. Sounds terrifying. Sounds terrifying. Wait, stand by. I was going for photo mode, but uh, apparently I've got my gun out. Let's put that away, please. Put it, put it, put it away. Put it. <laughs> That's <laughs> not. It's really rather. It's really rather not attack people right now. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. Hi. Hey, buddy. Uh, yep. Same. I feel exactly the same. Hey, mate. I like your beard. I genuinely, I would like to grow a beard. I would very much like to grow a beard. Uh, hi. They're all looking at. They're great at touch typing. Is this what it's like in the future? Hi! I think this is actually what I was supposed to start doing about 20 minutes ago, but here we are. Got there eventually. Alright, maybe it's not. <clears throat> Alright, okay. <laughs> Can we speak to this dude who I think is a bit rude? Honestly, I think this dude is a little, just a little bit rude. And a bit full of himself. I was really impressed. I was like, hey, this this dude just did this incredible thing. And then he was like, ah, oh, yeah, everything else that everyone's doing is meaningless because I'm really amazing. All right, okay. Change my mind about you immediately. Hi. Uh, why is everyone looking at me so suspiciously? Probably because I'm standing over their shoulder. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Um... He I'm wants to see me. I'm on my way to, to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, ma'am, maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. Oh. I need some more information. I'm concerned where this is going to take me in the story. I don't want to, like... Question, Pulse. I need to know. What do you mean? Think the Alliance what do brass you mean? is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Why does everybody hate Spectres Nihilus? Are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Investigate. That's one word that could mean a lot of things. Is this the I have to investigate? Or, do, or am I asking? Oh, I don't really want to ask you to investigate. Or, uh, 
oh, I'm gonna, am I gonna regret this? I wanna know what's going on. I'm too curious for my own good. <laughs> I'm too curious for my own good. Uh, I wanna know what's going on, but I feel like if I say investigate, maybe he'll think that I'm saying go and investigate. I'm pressing it. Oh, cool. Oh, I just get more options. Right. Spectres are elite operatives. Yeah, why send them? Um. I want to, yeah, the Turian Spectre. I'd like to know a little bit more. Everybody seems to hate this dude. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. Cool. So we're going to judge an entire species based on... sure how I feel about any of these people at the moment. I'm gonna be completely gonna be completely honest. Um right? Plus he's a spectre, but what does that even mean? Alright, please. Nihilus is no ordinary Turian. What does that mean? You've got that right, Commander. We're an alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. All right, so basically this entire playthrough is going to be me pressing the investigate button. I'm just calling it now. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just calling it now. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. He's expecting some heavy action. All right, let's just let's just let's just ask all the you questions with the captain. No, ma'am, but I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do nothing mission. He's treating the shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. Oh, I kind of want to be like, just do your job. <laughs> but also that's like the least Colo thing to say. <laughs> that's like the least Colo thing ever to say. Okay, well, let's ask, uh, did we ask about the captain or was that stealth system? I think that was captain. What do you know about the stealth systems? I, I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors, cutting edge technology. Okay. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we- Normandy, fasting? that's cool. A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks too. Plus there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. A cover? For what? For what? Damned if I know. Exactly. That. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. I'm gonna look into it. I think, I think we're gonna have to look into this. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Thanks. He didn't salute. I got a salute on the way in, but I'm not getting a salute on the way out. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this. Okay. Nope. It's crazy. Okay. I'm just going to have a look at increasing the... Not that one. Increasing the dialogue volume. Oh, it's all the way up. Okay. So. We'll pull these down a little bit. And I'll put this slider up. Go up one more. You have to let me know how it is. Alright. Captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders for a I'm gonna... Not his choice, I, I I know that I want to stop and check in with you, chat, but I'm just curious. Wait. You watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. So I, I don't just think it's mighty strange that as somebody who had to confirm who I was because I was such a super spy that nobody knew what my real name was, to then walk onto a ship and have somebody be like, ha! <laughs> That can't possibly be true. You watch too many spy movies. <laughs> game, please. <laughs> game, game, please. <laughs> Average player play through 20 to 30 hours. Colo play through 200 hours. We call that colo time. <laughs> 
whenever I ask chat what, 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 how long it takes to play through a game, I'm like, we have to at least double that. The maximum, when somebody says 20 to 30 hours, we'll, we'll take the 30 hours and then we'll double it and that's how long it will take me. <laughs> And that's how long it will take me. I think in true Colo style, I might have just um, maybe bypassed character creation. <laughs> but anyway, uh, next. <laughs> what do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Oh, Lord. The doctor's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a very me thing to say the doctor's right. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Yeah. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before. Not one with a Spectre on board. What is going on with the second Spectre? All right, okay. It's just another mission. I, we've got to keep everybody calm. That's my, this is my approach at the moment is that everybody's a bit all over the place. And if you have a ship full of, I'm probably thinking about this too much. Surprise, I'm playing a game that I'm thinking about too much. Surprise. But I always feel like if I've got a ship full of people that are on a mission, regardless of what that mission is, if everybody's really worrying about it and kind of, spiraling off on these crazy like creative oh it's gonna be this and it's this and it's this and it's this then that might spell danger so let's just say it's do another job, mission follow my orders and there won't yeah. be any problems let's do that easy for you to say you proved yourself on a coos everybody knows what you can do this is my big chance i need to show the brass what i can do you prove did this dude did this dude really just tell me that I don't understand because all of my friends, my entire squadron died to wild beings and I was the sole survivor? Did this dude really just say that? Did he? Did... Did... Be careful, dude. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it Be up. Be careful. Don't worry, I'm not going to screw this up. Yes, you are. I'm calling it now. Corporal Jenkins is going to screw this up. I don't want to ask them. I, I want to know about all of these things, but I really don't want to ask this dude because I feel like asking him is asking for trouble. Or... You're from Eden Prime, aren't okay, you, Jenkins? Right, right. What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Why are we going there? Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? I don't want to ask really him this. Sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Why is everyone being so mean to the Spectre, dude? What do you know about the Spectres? I don't understand why Tell they're being so I've mean. Heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. That's dangerous. I'm not. Mm. God, this is gonna. This is gonna get me to challenge all of my like beliefs, isn't it? Oh, I love games that do this when they're like, "Hey, let's entertain you, give you a great piece of art to play through, make the game change depending on what you say, uh, and make you challenge all of your ideas about everything." Oh, and by the way, you're probably gonna go cry. <laughs> and it's in space. I'm sold. Let's go. I don't want to say that's dangerous. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. <laughs> so far, it hasn't happened. Hey, okay. Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. You're always getting dropped into impossible situations, forced to survive unbeatable odds, just like you on a coos. 
Yeah, show some, show some heckin' respect, dude. Corporal Jenkins, you can do one, mate. Fifty Marines died there, Jenkins. Sorry, Commander. I, I didn't mean to offend you. I, I respect what you did there. We all do. Let's not dwell on the past, Commander. Was there something else you needed? The captain's waiting for me. Yeah. Goodbye, I'm out. Commander. I'm out. I am absolutely out of here. I don't... I... I... C cannot believe this dude! What an ass. Absolute ass. Okay, hey buddy. I really want you to be nice. <laughs> Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. His voice! will give us a chance to talk. Is this like... We should talk. <laughs> Have you ever got one of those texts? <laughs> we need to talk. It's the most terrifying sentence in existence, is it not? What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Beyond beautiful. I do know, and I don't really want to lie. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Please don't blow it up. Oh, please. <laughs> Please don't, please don't, please don't blow it up! Are you trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Alright. That's obvious. I yeah. already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Uh, What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Uh, what does that mean? The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. We read about those, Their didn't legacy we? still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. Oh my god. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. I'm so torn. Half of me just really wants to, me to tell him to fuck off. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me? God's sake, please don't blow up the beautiful, lush, gorgeous place. One of the most peaceful places in the galaxy. How did I not twig that this was what was going to happen? For God's sake. All right, you sound worried. Are we expecting trouble? Yeah, let's I'm do that. I'm always expecting trouble. Yeah, of course you are. There's more, Shepard. Starting to Nihilus understand why people with. Were... He's also mm. going to evaluate you. Excuse me. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity I wants a larger role in shaping it. interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, oh my God. it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. This is not adding up. Why? Why would... Why would Nihilus put my name forward? Being kind of consistently passive-aggressive, and I feel like it's a trap. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. 
We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I mean, all right, I can respect that, I think. What if I refuse? You're just kind of planning my life for me. I don't like people me. making decisions about my future. Yeah, you tell them! This isn't about you, Shepard. Humanity needs this. We're counting on you. All right. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Oh my god. I'm stressed and this music is not helping me. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. Yeah, I it's would. It's a peaceful farming world. Oh god! But it god. represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. And now it's gonna be it blown up. It we're ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds. To forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Okay. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Wrong... I swear to God, if not, this is the wrong hands. It's... It's... <laughs> to God, if Nihilus is the wrong hands, I'm making the choice to trust you. Nihilus, I'm making the- I'm making a- making a decision to trust you. Don't- don't let- don't let me regret it. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliant ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus system. The Terminus systems? This the Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. I just, I'm very uncomfortable. I'm very uncomfortable being dragged into this. Feel like I've been what do bamboozled. You know about the Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. God, this voice is amazing. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. No. Bring it up on screen. No. Get down! out after that no calm traffic at all just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold of 38.5 status report 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention 
It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. It's beautiful. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching hey. drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my oh, own. Oh no, he's gonna betray us! Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Oh, Otherwise, I want radio silence. I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Torian, sir. Hey, look, I wouldn't Nihilus put it like that, side. lady. He wants you in the spectrums, and he wants that beacon. I don't think he can count on us. I don't... I don't trust him. I'm changing my mind. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Nope. Good luck! I don't like it. I don't like it. We are approaching drop point two. Oh my god, alright. Okay. Alright, let me try and figure out... Use RTE to fire sustained fire, causes weapons to overheat, okay. Keep your guard up. And then I can... What was that? To draw or holster your weapon, okay. Can I aim? Yeah. Don't no trouble! then one shot <laughs> one kill okay if i got if i got like a am i going over there is this, is this the beacon <laughs> it's not the way that i want to go <laughs> i don't want to go that way i want to explore this beautiful land can we go for a swim do we have time <laughs> i'm so sorry like if this is the first time you've watched me play anything i <laughs> just <laughs> strap in chat Oh, it's so beautiful! Oh my goodness! Okay, let's go up here. Oh God, what happened here? Yeah, I'm kind of worried about that too. Uh, to switch weapons for my squad. Oh! Whoa! How do I? Avenger? Oh my goodness! I haven't got. I I have no idea what they are supposed to be weaponing with. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what. I know nothing about guns. How am I supposed to understand what this means? Sure, uh, that one. Why not? It's probably the wrong choice, isn't it? It's so beautiful. Why? Why? <sighs> we all know why. There was something that a corporation wanted, and they came to get it. Do I have a crouch? Oh lord. Uh. That's it. Bag him and tag him. All right, sure. Uh, okay, why not? I used a button to throw something, and I don't know which button that was. Let's try and find it. <laughs> Is it this one? <laughs> Did 
Did it go down? Where's our friend? Where's our buddy? Buddy, are you okay? Buddy, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, buddy? Buddy, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, buddy? Buddy, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, buddy? You've been hit by, you've been struck by a flying thing. Right through his shields. We're at a chance. Damn, man. He deserves a burial. He does deserve a burial. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, ma'am. All right. I just don't like where this is going. I don't like it, chat. I don't like where it's going. Medigel is needed to heal injured squad members. Omnigel can be used to bypass decryption and electronics challenge. Ooh. Both can be acquired by defeating enemies and opening containers. Press Y to use Medigel to heal your squad. Okay. Oh my lord. I've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. Alright, as you gain levels, this squad's out. Okay. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Alright, Nyla's gal here. I don't believe you. I don't trust you. I need to do something with this button, apparently. Squad. <laughs> What's that green thing mean? Purchase rank? Points three? Assault rifles increases accuracy and damage with the sword. Grants the overkill ability. Able to equip medium armor increases damage protection. Grants a shield boost. Unlocks heavy armor. Okay, I pressed that button. Uh, it's not a good idea. Increases melee damage. Increases weapons damage. Increases weapons damage. Oh my god, I definitely should have just done that one straight away. All right, well, that's a uh, terrible talent, talent tree picking. Uh, if you enjoyed that, strap in. You're in for a lot more of that. That's a lot more where that came from. <laughs> okay, to issue orders to your squad, um, attack your target, have a specific squad rate, move to a point to attack the targeted enemy, regroup. Okay. Maybe they'll just, I'm hoping that... I'm hoping that they'll just follow me and, and do things with me. Because that's going to be a lot of buttons to press. Is there something else over here? Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, come on, my dude. Where is it? Can I go around this way? Can we see it? No. Out in the open. Like all, uh, like all good soldiers. <clears throat> like all good soldiers out in the open. Smells like smoke and death. That it does. That it does. All right, which way am I going? Probably not this way. This is where we came up. This is where we came up, right? Pretty sure this is where we came up. You're also about to learn, if you've never seen me play a game before, you're also about to learn that I have absolutely zero sense of uh, direction. I'm quite confident this is where our buddy is down here, but we're just going to double check so we know I've gone in the right way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, moving swiftly on, because we all knew all along that that was the uh, wrong way. <clears throat> Does anybody have a map? <laughs> anybody happen to know how, they're, how to do this? <laughs> Something is going to come and get me. Something is definitely going to come and get me. <sighs> it's just a 
case of what and when. Uh, do we really want to go down the... Ooh, what's this? Hello. Hi, friend. Medical kit. Cool. Oh, well, we, we made a friend along the way. Uh, it's not about how far you go. It's about the med gels that you meet along the way or something like that. Or at least it is now. <laughs> Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one who charged your ma'am? You all right? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Happened to your unit? Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Don't blame yourself. How dare they even give an option of you abandoned them? How dare... How dare the game even give a heckin' option? How... This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could. Until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Join us. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. All right. I love Ashley. This is now an Ashley Williams. It's downstream. <laughs> What else do you know about the Geth? Just casually Just what I remember from history asking class in the middle of the school. battlefield. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. I don't, I really, I don't like that we're standing in the middle of a battlefield, but I'm just going to trust that the game knows that this is game and it's not going to, like, launch on us while we're talking. Tell me everything you know about the beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. Right. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. Okay. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. It's just... It's just sort of not really much is Describe adding up what here. what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. It seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. I really, I need to ask the question about Nihilus. But I'm also very scared about the answer. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. He carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, He's on our side. Hmm. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Questionable. Move out! All right. <sighs> I 
I'm stressed. I'm, st I'm so stressed. I'm, <laughs> I'm so stressed. <laughs> this game is so stressful. <sighs> I didn't expect it. <laughs> just, just need to show you my cat. Just, just I interrupt. I <laughs> interrupt this to, to show you that all of my screaming and moving and my cat's just like, yeah, no biggie. <laughs> She's just like, yeah, no biggie. This is just, this is, this is just what my human does. <laughs> Hi, chat. Hi, Carla, how are we doing so far? I'm a bit stressed, Rooney. Really. I'm going to be honest, I'm a bit stressed. I feel like... I feel... I, I feel... St yeah, stressed. <laughs> I don't, don't know what else to tell you. Um... The Stardew Valley looking good now. <laughs> Aquas Luke, thank you for your bobs. Talila, thank you for your gay bits too. It's nap time badges. I think... I think, uh... I'm... I'm I'm so for those of you who haven't seen me play games before what, what you might not know is that I uh I I don't really play any kind of shooters and I don't I just don't know anything about guns so I don't really have the capacity to look at a silhouette of something without information about it and be like ah yes that's good for this situation <laughs> so that's gonna be heckin easy um the kind of last Car, sort of heavy combat game I played. I used to play a lot of Overwatch, but that's nothing like this. <laughs> so that's interesting. So that's going to be fun. That's going to be interesting. Um, gun, go shooty, aim and shoot. All right, cheers. Thanks, chat. It's really helpful. <laughs> Normal, colo, noises, levels detected. Proceed with the show exactly. Um, yeah. Streamer, for someone that doesn't play shooters, your aim and general tactical movement is pretty freaking amazing. Thank you for saying that, Officially Insane. I think that it's... I think it's potentially because when I have played things, they've been very... Uh, it's been very competitive. If it's been something like Overwatch. Or 10 years ago, I played... <laughs> so surprise. Almost everybody here. 10 years ago, I used to play a lot of Call of Duty on my PlayStation 3. Um with uh with the, the guys that i sometimes tell stories about the smurf story if you've heard me tell the smurf story these guys um they got me really into it so but that's yeah but we're talking 10 years ago maybe you just gotta squeeze them to figure out which ones are good ones like avocados I will ask if I need intro, intro info. The the phrase that you're looking for. Um, so this is a no help, no hints uh, playthrough. I don't know anything about this game, but the phrase that you're looking for is actual questions. So if you hear me say, if you hear me ask something and then say that's an actual question, that means please genuinely help me. I'm looking for an answer because I'm stuck. Um, oh my lord. <sighs> All right, I think my main worry at the moment, like my main, I think the main reason why I'm stressed is because there's so much, like there's so many things that I've been bombarded with and I'm like, how do I process this? What's important? What do I need to know? Which is a bit much. Um, but also I'm slightly concerned that I'm gonna press the wrong buttons and get my friends killed. That's, that is 90% of my stress level right now is that I'm concerned that I'm going to press the wrong button and like my friends are going to die because that will just destroy me. <laughs> so, oh, you mean like Linda, Lucy, Lara? Oh my God. The meme here is that um, when I played Skyrim, my house y'all, uh, I, I killed her and then I forgot her name. So we call her any feminine sounding name that begins with L. That's why there's a picture of her on my wall. <clears throat> also, my cat is very cute. Also, never gonna <laughs> give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna... Is this even gonna 
work? I don't think this is gonna make me jump, you guys. I just had to change the alert, all right? Does it work? Did it work? The other 10% of concern is an incoming recruit. Accurate. Very accurate there, Fiom. Thank you for the 1987, you bar. <laughs> But she carries Carlos' burdens for about five minutes and then died. I'm so sorry. Hello, space cadet and crew. So sorry. I heard a rumor that you lot were traveling amongst the stars. Yes. Mind if I tag along? It's Colo Salute. Come along, Parthenax. It'll be lovely to have you here. Thank you so much for the eight months. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you for the 1987 as well. Good lord. Um, if you if you're interested in watching my Skyrim playthrough and you haven't already, there's just put some links in chats for all of my places and the whole. The whole playthrough of Skyrim is on YouTube. Uh, along the same lines as this. No idea what to do. Let's just play it and have fun. I definitely wasn't as stressed as this in Skyrim. Apart from meeting my first dragon. That was very, that was very scary. <laughs> but then I just sang and it sort of didn't feel so what scary I enjoy anymore. most about this playthrough is that we get to address you as Commander <laughs> oh! again. Oh! 07. 07 Commander. Michelle, thank you so much for your gay bits. Thanks for your 200 gay bits. Oh my lord. Commander Colo, I'm back. I'm back. Okay, so this is what I'm worried about getting wrong, squad. So I've got points here. Oh man, all right. Projects a sphere of powerful contragravity. Whoa! Any object or creature caught in the area will be lifted into the air. Oh my God, that sounds really cool. Enemies will be temporarily immobilized until they fall back to the ground. Each point spent during increases the duration. That's so cool. Projects a mass effect. They said the name of the, the movie in the movie. Projects a mass effect field play. Pla, pla, <laughs> smashed it. Projects a mass effect field powerful enough to hurl objects and enemies caught in the area of effect out of the way. Each point spent increases the strength of throw, knocking targets farther and inflicting greater damage. Alright. Bolsters your kinetic shields with a mass effect field that can absorb a massive amount of damage. Attacks that penetrate shields will also penetrate this, this barrier. Increases the amount of Omni Gel recovered. Lets you use the decryption skill to open secure objects. Grants the sabotage ability which shuts down enemy weapons within a certain radius. Oh my god. increases squad healing special training allows sentinels to use tech and biotics more efficiently than other classes you are the sentinel <laughs> little bit of lemis silent and sure keeping watch in the night keeping watch in the night you know your way in the sky you hold your course and your aim and each in your season returns and returns and is always the same. And if you fall, as Lucifer fell. All right, sorry, <clears throat> moving swiftly on. Well, she wasn't Hamilton today, surprise. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go for decryption. B because opening secure objects sounds pretty cool. I think I might have an actual question, chat. I think I might have an actual question for you. yes i have an actual question for you um with with these when it says let's you use the decryption skill to open secure objects is it talking about me i get the skill not not my friend i get it but this is my friend's talent Caden, Caden gets it Hayden will get the skill. Your friend gets the skill. The whole team. You are right. I'm confused. And if you bring him with you on your mission, you can utilize his ability. It works as long as he is in your party. Right. Okay. Got it. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Because I feel like being able to... Yeah, I feel like I... opening secure objects is going to be something that... From a gameplay point of view, I will really enjoy. What's in the box? You know? 
swear to God, one day that dude on Reddit about the safe will repost. <laughs> that dude on Reddit about the safe, that narrows it down, doesn't it? All of them. Can you imagine all of them one day just being like, oh yes, by the way, we opened the safe and this was what was in it. <sighs> if you've seen that episode of The Big Bang Theory, where, um, sorry, tangent, we are going to play Mass Effect, I promise, where uh, where they, it's this thing with Amy and Sheldon and it's about like being completionists and she winds up the Jack in the Box uh, but then like stops just before it pops up, right? That's it. And then suddenly the dudes with the saves on Reddit will all post and suddenly it'll be like me going back later in mind. Anyway, moving on. Uh, right, uh, so decryption I think is probably where we're gonna go with this. I feel like I'm... I, uh, talent trees always stress me out when I know nothing about the game. Because I feel like the capacity to get it wrong is really huge, or the capacity to look at something and think that sounds like it's going to be really, really important, and then it's completely irrelevant. Will you like it's really big. Keep him in the party? Well, I don't really know. I just assumed that this was who was in my party. I didn't even know that I had to check. Just be careful, check, because I really do know nothing about this game. Thor, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for seven months. Welcome back. Welcome back. Anyway, I'm not sure what the point was. Me neither, Mishan, to be honest. He, whoever is when I start talking. Okay. Um, so. Uh, this sounds really cool. Reduces the recharge time of tech abilities, reduces the recharge time of biotic abilities, increases damage and accuracy with pistols. See, they, well, it all sounds really good. Increases the amount of Omnigel recovered, lets you use decryption skill to open secure objects. Grant the, so how come there's more points? All right, I've got another question, chat. I've got another actual que question. Does this mean, so if I put another point in it, does it just mean that it gets, oh, right, scratch that. <clears throat> Got it. Can use decryption skill on easy object. Does 50 damage in a 6 M, I'm guessing meter, radius. Overheats enemy, uh, em, em, <laughs> enemy weapons. Burns them for 2 damage per second. Okay. Increases the tech mine explosion damage done by sabotage, damping, and EMB by 10%. Right. Throws enemies away from the caster with a force of 600 newtons. Holy butts. First aid restores 40 health for all wounded party members. Okay. Reduces the cooldown, increases pistol damage by 2% and pistol accuracy by 4%. Oh my god, I really don't know what to pick. I'm going to go with Sentinel. I'm not going to go with Sentinel. Uh, I am! I already did it. Okay. Because I feel like the consistency of that is maybe hopefully going to save the day a couple of times. We hope. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Ashley. All right. We've got two points for Ashley. Able to equip. I don't know why it's showing me these green because I already got it, I guess. Uh, increases melee damage. Increases weapons damage. Grants the adrenaline burst ability. Increases damage reduction by 5%. Increases hardening by 5%. Oh my goodness. Increases health by 10%. These are all really good. Oh my goodness. Ashley. Stay forever, please. Um. I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna do... Damage reduction by 5% is a lot, really, isn't it? Increasing health by 4% regenerates 3 health per sec. It's got to be that, right? They seem useful to me, but who knows, really. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. Uh... To change your team's equipment, press this, that's this one. Uh, I didn't actually look at I just pressed the button. <laughs> I just pressed the button. I guess I go into equipment. Tundra Badger! Hello! 
Thank you so much for the 30 months you're as old as me now. Welcome back, Thunder Scepter. An officially insane gifting a sub to Ashley Williams. I love her. I'm ready. <laughs> love her and I'm ready. Thank you, officially insane, for gifting that sub. Hello, Thunder Scepter. Hi. Uh, I, I found some... Oh, my goodness. I'm going to look back and, and not understand at all what I was what I was trying to figure out. <laughs> the accuracy of that is really tricky. I don't know how to find this armor, chat. Um, actual question, how do I, how do I find this? How do I find that armor that I just, that I just picked up? I'm really lost in this map. I've got absolutely no idea what, what I'm doing. How do I find that armor? Keep going right. Oh, is it here? Oh, got it, right. Light armor human, scorpion one. Uh, so is it? A, I'm I'm struggling to figure out if it's. I don't understand this this menu. I'm struggling to understand if this if this armor is equipped on these people, or if I if I have to manually do that. So Omni Gel, so that must mean turn it into Omni Gel and equip. But can I see? I don't know. It says medium armor human, but I, but I don't know who should wear it because I can't see the details on it. So I'm not really sure what I should do with that. Selected item. Oh, right. It's got to be that. Selected item on the top right. It's got to be that, right? Damage protection, 14. Shield, 63. Tech, biotech protection. It's got to be that. So this would go to... So that would go to Ashley. Yeah, all right. It's got to be that. Um, and I can't put it there for some reason. And I've already... Right, okay. I think I've got it now. That's the... So that's the equipped item so strange this, this this interface isn't like any game that i've ever played before so i'm very confused bear with me chat while i try and figure this one out so it would be a so it'd be the biggest upgrade for Caden, i think except that's like except i can't equip it <laughs> Except I can't. Except I can't. Ex, except I can't equip it. <laughs> um. All right. Did I already give it to somebody? Those of you who've been playing this game forever are going to be like, "Oh my goodness, God! Like, what are you doing?" But you just got to remember, chat. You play a game and you've got no idea what you're looking at. And you, you're always going to have a... Uh, <laughs> you're always going to have a fun time trying to understand it. Um, asking one actual question doesn't mean that all follow qu uh, questions... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so... It would be the biggest upgrade for this dude, but I don't have the equip option. So the other option is... Give it to Ashley. But it's not actually very good for Ashley. Or... I could give it to myself. Less damage protection, but more... Tech biotic protection. So I think the options are... Give it to me for a kind of sideways step. If I give it to Ashley, it's a bad idea, I think. And I can't, I can't give it to Caden. So the other option is to reduce it to Omnigel, I think. I think I'm gonna ask you an actual question, chat. I'm gonna give a summary and then I need to know if I've got it right. So the the actual question is, am I right? On what I'm about to say. <laughs> I 
can't give this thing to Caden. And it's a sort of bit of a decrease for Ashley in terms of shields. And it's kind of a sideways step for me if I equip it. And then the other option is to reduce it to Omnigel. Is that correct, actual question? I am correct. Yes, sounds correct. Oh, oh I actually got something right. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. I actually got something right. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for your thanks thanks for your help. Um No, it's given me the option to sort things. So I guess like maybe I could just hold on to it. Now is there a thing about if I can come out of it and look at my squad, can I have a look at uh so Caden level one, two, seven, four. I'm just wondering if like maybe Caden hasn't leveled up yet. Maybe that's just a class that you can't wear or something. I'm just thinking maybe it might be Renegade. Paragon? What does it mean? They don't have one. Okay. It's in ginger, so I'm assuming it's correct. <laughs> just gonna stay there for a minute. I'm just gonna... Uh... Oh, no! Woohoo! Your awesomeness points are at max colo. Less than three. Tomorrow you are too kind. Thank you. This is very scary. This is actually completely savage. Oh my God, they've been like burn. I really appreciate that it knows that I'm going to get lost. Oh no, this is like time trial music. Move to the edge of cover and press RT to fire. Hold LT to lean out and aim. Is it just teaching me this? I hope it's just teaching me because I haven't got a bloody clue what I'm doing here. Approaching a low object will make you crouch to take cover behind it. Okay, to manually cover. Okay, right. That's a bit... I don't know if you can hear how loudly I'm having to press that for my... <gasps> Say what? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Excuse you. What did it say about a grenade? Did it say B? This 
is the dig site. Did I do it? The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. I'm scared to ask if there were any survivors. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Okay. I'm sure there was a plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. Shut up, Nate. You want to check it out? I'll wait for you there. What was that? Did I hear force field? Did you see that chat? I hear a force field or something. I'm sure there was another enemy there. Ooh. A shotgun and a pistol. Okay. It's giving me... Why is it giving me... Okay, so if I lock up my squad... Oh, look! I leveled up. Very nice. Is that... Is that what the cool noise was? When it rang at me. Gave me a little fancy little jingle. Snazzy. Um, okay. Assault rifles. Increases accuracy and damage with the, with assault rifles. Yeah, I'm really concerned that I'm picking the wrong things here. Restores 30% of your shield per second. See, that sounds really good. Increases weapon damage by 2%. Charm? Intimidate? Opens new dialogue options. Oh! Opens charm options in conversation. Decreases the cost of items in stores. Are you kidding me? So I can just magically become charming. <laughs> this is great. What a brilliant mechanic. <laughs> Oh, I just absolutely wonderful. I can just immediately become charming. <laughs> Everything costs less. Charm options in conversations will be grayed out if you do not have a high enough skill rank. Oh, what are you kidding me? So if I what so basically what you're saying is that I will see the options and I w might not be able to take them. New skill ranks will unlock when you become a spectre. When? Sorry, pumpkin. When? When? Game. Spoilers in menu. Opens intimidate options in conversations. Increases credits gained when selling items in stores. Intimid intimidate options in conversation will be grayed out if you do not have a high enough skill rank. New skill ranks will unlock when you become a spectre and as you earn renegade points. Back once game with a renegade master. Oh, and as you earn paragon points. Oh. Do I have to pick a side? Oh no. Right, I'm going with my gut. And that's put all my points in charm. And my gut says that because I want to know what's going on and I feel like if I have more dialogue options, then I'm going to have more of a chance of knowing what's going on. I don't really want to intimidate people. I don't... I don't really want to do that. I don't... I don't want... I don't want to intimidate people. I don't think. All right, I kind of do. <laughs> All right, I kind of, I kind of do. <laughs> okay, I kind of want to do that. More dialogue options, colo playtime extension <laughs> activate, right? I 
I feel like increasing weapon damage is going to be a really useful thing, but first aid as well. Restores 40 health for all wounded party members. So is this... I think I've got another actual question, chat. So the Medigel is like... It's not an item that I use up. It's like a unit. It's like a, a unit of energy. So if I had this, I could use my one Medigel unit to heal 40 health. Is that right? Actual question. That's right. Okay. Okay, right, cool. Because I was thinking that the Medigel was an item. It was like a stim pack, right? That you pick up and it's already got like a predetermined amount of healing that it does. That this makes sense that I can think of the Medigel like a unit of energy and its effects depend on what I do. Okay, thank you, chat. I appreciate that. Um... I don't know enough about weapons to know. I quite like the idea of sniping. I quite, like, quite like the idea of that. But also, if I... Also, new dialogue options? Could I be equal parts intimidating and charming? Maybe. Increases health by 4%, regenerates three. Surely that's more useful. Come on, Colo. <laughs> I'm actively choosing between being able to intimidate people or live longer. intimidate the bullets perhaps i could <laughs> perhaps i could oh lordy um i think i'm gonna use i think i'm gonna put the points in soldier i think i'm gonna put the points in health oh but the, but the options oh, i'm gonna try and not be this in this uh this torn every time i put points in but you've got to remember friends that i don't know anything about this so it's really hard to figure out what it is that i'm trying to to put points in because i haven't got a dang clue what they all do um first aid sounds really useful but i also haven't got to that point yet maybe just just baseline health regeneration sounds, <laughs> sounds like a really good idea um All right, if I'm thinking about it, like, here's it. I've made a decision and I'm going to explain to you how I've made this decision. I feel like if I was playing the game, like any normal person plays a game and just enjoys it and tries to like do their best at the game and like stay alive for the longest amount of time and like have the most damage and do all of that things. Like that's how most people play games, right? That's not how I play games. <laughs> Because to me, it's about all the stuff that people don't usually see. It's, to me, it's it's about what can I find out? Like, what does that mean? How do I know this thing? Or like, how have I met that person? Or what can this person tell me? Or like, explain the story or find out what's going on? Or all of those things. Like, that's, that's the stuff that I want to know when I play a game. That's what gets me pulled into a game. Isn't how effective in combat can I be? It's what is the story here? What does it mean? And how can I experience that? And I feel like if I'm staying true to the way that I want to play, then there's only one remaining option for me to pick. <laughs> 
that fits with that gameplay style. So I'm going to attempt to be equal parts intimidating and charming. <laughs> Do I have more options? I don't want to know that! Just didn't want to know that. Oh, lordy. I am very distractible and I'm very into this game already. I'm really enjoying it. Thank you. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. Look, I had, a, I had a decision to make. I had a choice to make. <laughs> and I stand by my choice. <laughs> I stand by my choice. I know this is daunting, but you'll get used to it. Thank you for saying that, Commander Coda. Jakes, thank you for the bits. Homicidal luggage with the 15 months. Thank you. Sums up the polo way well. You reckon? Oh, so what was that one? It is B that I needed to push. Intimidating and charming. People quite often tell me I'm, inti I'm intimidating. People regularly tell me that I'm intimidating. You're gonna follow, but she sounds evil. It's all right. I'm the good one. Um, my evil twin, Olok, however. Can intimidate in an extremely charming way. I make no promises for, uh, make no promises for Commander Olok. <laughs> good show ever. Jakes, thank you for the bobs. Thomason, with the 37 months, welcome back. Thank you so much. Welcome back. And Michelle gifting a sub to Fiora. Of course. Thank you so much. Welcome back for your 11th month, Fiora. Thank you. Charmingly intimidating. People tell me all the time I'm intimidating. And then sometimes when I say, when I say why, or I'm like openly offended, people are like, oh no, it's a compliment. And I'm like, how? Yeah, how is that a compliment? <laughs> how, is that, how is that a compliment? Although somebody said it to me recently, and then they said, it's a bit like it would be a compliment if you said that, like, people find the big tall lady in the Resident Evil game, uh, they say that she's intimidating and, and they really like her. And I was like, are you saying that I'm a big tall evil lady? Because you'd be half wrong, maybe. Okay, where are we going? Uh, we're going to, anyway, three, two, one, back in the room. Stand tall, confident Lady Colo. Speaking of Talila, thank you for your capids, Talila. <laughs> okay, I feel like it's gone quiet, but if I turn it up, it's going to be very problematic. I'm just going to hit mute on alerts again for a little while. Thank you so much, friends, for all of your support. <laughs> Nobody's like saying you're tall. Hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Oh my god! It's terrifying. The spikes thing is terrifying. Whoa! What? Oh god, they're still alive. The geth do to them. You coming? <laughs> nope, nope, did not like that. Nope, did not. Oh, look. Turned humans into machines? If I had a hammer. And now do I have to have a look and see who needs that hammer?
Is it not in my squad? Oh, it'd be in equipment. So... Oh, and these are the guns that I picked up. Cool, okay, right. I'm gonna try and get to grips with this now, and then I feel like, hopefully, this will help me in the, in the long run. So that pistol is worse for me. That shotgun. Am I ever gonna use it? I really like the idea of becoming a good sniper. I really like that. That appeals to me for some reason. I don't really understand the heat sink capacity. Like it's something, it's gotta be, it's obviously about overheating, but I don't know what heat sink capacity in seconds. I don't know what that means. So I might ask you about that in a minute, chat. I'm just seeing if there's anything that's really clearly an upgrade here. just the shotgun I think for that's a lot what about Ashley my love Ashley still didn't do anything for that this is really I, I don't want to make these decisions <laughs> I don't, I don't want to make the decisions I don't want to make them I don't want to I don't want to make the, these decisions anymore it's too, I just want to play the game. Maybe this one. All right, chat, actual question. What does heat sink capacity seconds mean? What does this mean? Actual question. What does it mean? It's basically ammo. They build up heat instead of using ammo. I just mentioned it because I was censored, probably because I wasn't asking an actual question. <laughs> As it says in the title. <laughs> Uh, how long you can pew pew until you have to recharge bigger value fire more before heat locks instead of ammo you use heat the gun heats up and overheats if you fire it too much without waiting you have to have a cool down okay how fast your gun calls so is it better I still don't really understand if it's better to have a lower or a higher number on heat sink like, does, what I'm, I'm trying to understand, can it, is the three that it can cool down in three seconds after overheating? Or is the three that you can fire it for three seconds before it overheats? I don't understand. Higher is better? Okay. All right. So then th this is, this is going to be a, this is going to be a good one for me then, huh? Thank you, friends, very much for the, uh, thank you for the, for the things the things thanks for the thing <laughs> my brain thank you for answering my actual questions so the higher number is better i think i'm gonna give it to Caden. it's exactly the same i'm gonna give it to Caden. equip All right. Uh, I'm pretty sure I picked something else up that I probably should have had a look at, but. But all in, all in good time, chat, all in good time. <laughs> I just want to play the game. I don't worry. I don't want to worry about it. I don't want to worry. <laughs> Didn't know that was gonna happen. I don't want to worry about my, um, my armor. I, I just want. I just want to know what happens. I don't, I don't want to worry about who's got what. Just sort it out among yourselves. <laughs> All right. Okay. Door. It's closed. Security locks engaged. Is it still engaged? Oh, easy decryption. Oh, I should probably. I should probably. I should probably use the ability that uh, I that I took so I could do this instead of just shooting it. Oh, I clicked through that. Begin manual override. I clicked through that by accident. Oh, Lord. Oh, cool. 
Cool. All right. Humans. Thank the maker. Hi. Hurry. Close the door before they come back. Who are you? What are you, you doing here? I'm Dr. Warren. Hi. I was in charge of this excavation. We hid in the shed during the attack. They must have come for the beacon. Yeah, Luckily, you don't it say. Wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Oh. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. I love the idea that I can literally just say goodbye to this. <laughs> no one is saved! The age of humanity has ended soon, only ruin and corpses will remain! Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, look at this! So I wonder if I get extra ones because I'm charming now. Because, oh, by the way, did you know, chat? I'm very charming. <laughs> No one is saved. Okay, uh, yeah, tell me about Can all of them. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Okay. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please, this isn't the time. I feel like Manuel needs a cup of tea and a hug. Uh, investigate. I'd like the option that should exist up here. And that option is give Manuel hug and make a cup of tea in a kettle, not the microwave. Thanks. It's, to be fair, we're in the middle of a battlefield and they've just been attacked. I should probably save them and, you know, get them to safety instead of making them a cup of tea but also a cup of tea just really does do wonders you just have no idea um uh yeah did you notice a turian in the area i saw him the prophet leader of the enemy he was here before I the knew attack it. i knew That's it impossible nihilus was with us in the normandy before the attack he could have been here I i'm sorry manuel's still a bit unsettled we haven't seen your turian we've been hiding in here since the attack Sus! Big sus! All right, tell me about what the attack. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there. Too afraid to move until you came along. God, can you imagine? It'd be horrible, wouldn't it? What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. I can shut him up? How is this an option? <gasps> what? Absolutely not. Williams, take us to the spaceport. Absolutely you can't not. Stop it. Nobody can stop it. It's all right, buddy. It's falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Good Lord. Well, this was, uh, that was quite something, wasn't it? Uh, sat down there. Little, a place to put your shoes. <laughs> Got no idea. All right, where are we going? Where to? I've stopped being scared of this world now, and I feel like that is, uh, a, that's a very serious error. Where am I going? This way?
Saren. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. <gasps> no! What is that? Off in the distance. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. Can you imagine the emissions charge on that bad boy? Oof! Mama. Um, anyway... Uh... Really frustrating. Ah, no! Whoa, 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 what's going on here? Why? My friend dead? No! I'm... Look, stop shooting at me! I'm trying to look after my friend! I mean they're still alive in this menu. There was a button for my weapons, and I don't remember which one it was. Uh, not that one. I can't remember what half of my commands do. Why did it? Why? Why did they just stay there? I'm so confused. I just do not understand why they just stayed there. Like, walked. You didn't run? You didn't... Okay, I need to have a look at switching my weapons, but I don't know how I did that. Uh, what's this? Oh, that looks useful in this situation. The band's back together. It's all right. We're fine. It's all right. We're all right. The team's back together. It's okay. They're fine. All right. Uh, I'd like to open this, please. Open. Pretty proud of myself, actually. 
That seemed, that seemed like a good shout. Quite, uh, quite proud of myself there, gonna be honest. Feel like that was a good move. But I made a couple of good shots there. I'm a bit scared that we're gonna go out there and it's gonna be problematic, but kinda only gonna find out. Uh, all right, that's the thing that I do to bring my peeps back together. That's what we do when we get the band back together. So that swaps my rep weapons. I've just got to learn what each weapon does. That's the little one that I've been using, I think. This is... That's the, this, that's the big boy snipey, dude. I don't know what this does. Let's hold on to this one for a little minute. See what see what see what's going on with this one. Oh goodness me, I tell you what, that was very stressful, but we did alright. <laughs> but we did alright. Can I open this, please? Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? Um, I don't think I can say it's safe. <laughs> we took care of them. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. Yeah, me too. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. M makes sense. Makes sense. Ewok, thank you so much for gifting that 21 month resub to Biblioffice. Thank you so much, Ewok. Biblioffice, welcome back, friend. It's lovely to have you back. And Anza, thank you so much for coming back for a second month. That means the first one wasn't a mistake, and I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. <sighs> All right. Okay. It showed up before the tech knew it was trouble. We made a break for the sheds. Um, yeah, tell me about the ship. This ship, that's got to be the claw thing that that was in the footage when we were we were still on the I don't know what the what what it was called Normandy, and there was a big the claw, you know, like in Toy Story with the alien dudes and the the claw, like the claw, that thing. That's got to that's got to have been the ship. That has to have been the ship. Has to have been. Hi, Del Deloronus, Deloronus? How do I say your name? Thank you so much for using your prime sub here. Welcome. It's lovely to have you with us. <laughs> enjoy enjoy your time here. Enjoy your remotes. Thank you so much. Um, oh, the claw juices you were going to mistake. The claw. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. A jamming signal? It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. Oh, I get that sometimes. Uh, and I learned that there's a word for it. Uh, it's called anxiety. <laughs> Sorry. Is that... Uh way I deal with my own problems. Uh, okay, attack details. Tell Let's try that. Tell me you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. Mm. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Okay. Tell me about the beacon. Do you know, you know where it is? About the Prothean beacon they dug up? Where is it? We're just farmers. Where yeah, is they it? They found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. Are they just farmers? Are you just farmers? I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our ships. <gasps> what kind of packages? 
I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Oh, okay. Oh, I've got a blue option and a red option. Oh, actual actual question, chat. Is this is this from my perks? The blue option and the red option? Is this intimidate and um charm? Is it? <gasps> oh, that's really exciting. Oh, that's really exciting. Hey, Stu, thank you so much for the two-month resub. Welcome back. This series is really something special, and I wish I could play it through for the first time again. Really hope you like it. Thank you so much. Um, I am really enjoying it so far. That's for sure. <laughs> uh i can't wait to find out i feel like i'm playing a movie i feel like i'm 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 playing in a movie it's really good <laughs> and the movie's on space and and what i say i just it's great i love it thank you very much friends thank you this sounds a bit aggressive <laughs> We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. What is it? Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? What He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. Is he worth dying for? Oh, this is, <laughs> this is really playing with what I want to do. I'm really tempted to ask if he's worth dying. Is he worth dying for? Oh, no, I do. Oh, I'm so tempted. Uh, no, no, no. He, I, I wouldn't actually kill him, though. That would be a very empty threat. But he wouldn't know that, and he would be very scared. And No. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Okay. Works the docks at the spaceport if he's still alive. All right. I have to go. Spaceport. Ooh. Okay, I should have a look at what our, all of our stuff is. But I think we should probably just go and have a little look around here and make sure that we have picked up everything that we might need. Containment cell. Oh no. Commander, it's Nihilus. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't, don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. The other one? What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. In the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Oh, wait! This is Powell! This is that dude! You're Cole's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My Sus, supervisor's dude. dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that uh -huh. we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Lovely. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military. <laughs> you greedy son of a bitch. We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass. This and mother all you badger. think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? I can't tell her to let it go. I can't tell it. 
Just give me the grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. You should make amends. A lot of Marines died here, Paul. Definitely make Those amends. Grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. I don't like this guy. At all. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? We Let's need to go. find that beacon before it's too Just late. Just get out of here. It's not worth the cargo time. train. That's where the other Turian went. This... I, I, I can't stay here. This dude. I need to get away from all Hi, this. Hi, Puma. High explosive? Oh, Lord. That's <laughs> dangerous to carry around. Can we... Can we make sure he gets proper burial? I don't know what... Ah, no, I'm just trying to save the world. <laughs> Blimey. It was a bit much, wasn't it? It was a bit risky. I mean, it paid off, but it was a bit risky. Can I find that which one, which one's the, the weapon? But that's not that one. <laughs> oh, that one. Uh, that one. What? Is it up there? Struggling to figure out where everyone is. Can I not quite get over there? I guess I can't see over it. That's really annoying. Okay, so I'm gonna need... Uh, maybe... RB to bring up the power wheel. goodness you sabotage oh man I, that's for, uh, that's too much for a day i'm gonna be honest oh, well i have to use it to make that go away that's too much there's too much for one day chat i'm just gonna have to peg it i think Gauntlet run? I feel like I'm on a little gauntlet run. Okay.
Did I get him? Well, I'm going to have to try and get to grips with how to throw those. Oh my God, the concentration is so real. Chat. What? What was that? Some sort of terrifying goo. God. I'm stressed. Come on, Abby, get. Abby, get. Come on, Abby, get. Any more? Okay, off we go. didn't die really really i didn't die set the charges destroy the entire colony oh, leave no. no evidence that we were here too late we already know you but Fire, please, friends. I'm attempting to look up my map. Is that it? Is that it up here? Okay. There's one more. Big guns. You guys are going to have to fire for me. Jammed? All right, so I can't see my map. Oh my God. All right, I need to switch my gun because there's no way I can do that around there. Where's the 
the other one then. Oh my god, okay. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where's the beepy dude? Are we on top of it yet? Move out the way! I know you're trying to save my life! But oh, it's right there. Whew. Okay. This is the last one. I've got some funky music. I did it. Is that it? I did it? Is that it? I didn't get lost. I did, I did, I did press the wrong button. Don't let that get you, friends. I did press the wrong button just then, but uh, apparently, apparently I didn't get lost. That's the thing I'm most impressed at. Holy butts, crazy hate, thank you so much for the six months, crazy hate. Gosh, oh, alien isolation in that Mass Effect 2 Colo. How everyone fails in that part of the mission first time, or oh, never mind, it's a way. Really? Was I supposed to fail at that? D really? Is that unusual? Is that actually unusual? I am playing on the easiest difficulty, so I feel like I've got to give some credit for that. Oh, I'm really, proud, really proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself. Thank you, everybody. Hi, Andromeda. I'm a YouTube fan here who loves your content and community, so I'm here now and enjoying every minute of it. Hi. Thank you so much for coming over from YouTube. It's lovely to have you here. Thanks so much. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Holy butts. All right, well, what do I do now? Not walk into that. Like I was saying, not walk into that. So where do I go now then? Just have to kill all the dudes? Is that what I need to do? Okay. My right hand is starting to play up, chat. So we might be nearing the end here, unfortunately. But I'm pretty impressed that my hands managed to hold up for this long, to be honest with you. Can I walk along there? Marks, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Andromeda. Welcome in, enjoy your emotes. I have to go back around here. There's another bad thing on the radar, I just don't know where the bad thing is. I've still got tense music. But honestly, I'm not entirely sure why, because nobody's shooting at me for once. <laughs> for once. We're we supposed to be back here? Is this where I'm supposed to be? What am I supposed to be doing? probably have a look at the journal then i guess I, I i saw disarm charges find the beacon take the train take the cargo train to the next platform and stop him before he gets to the beacon so we have to do it again i'm on the train this is the train no didn't i press that button uh um actual question what am I supposed to be doing right now <laughs> um <laughs> run there's a path next to the last bomb all right well let's go back shall we we got all the way back right so I got all of them and then I got lost of course of course I did. <laughs> if that is not the epitome of the Colo way, I really don't know what is. Disarms all the bombs, gets through, no one dies, <laughs> immediately gets lost and runs around. 
<laughs> Sorry. Uh, brilliant. So is there a path up here? Nope. Back down here. <laughs> That's just the first. Oh, this way. Oh, I see. I see the people. Stand by. Uh, I need one big. Yeah, this one. All right, here we go. Hey, Goldie, thank you so much for the raid. Hi, friends. It's lovely to have you here. Welcome to the chaos. Oh, Lord, that's the wrong weapon. What were you doing today, Goldie? Can I not disarm it that way? It's the beacon. We found the beacon. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Please don't kill my friends. Please don't kill my friends. It wasn't doing anything like that. Please don't kill my friends. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Doctor? Dr. Chakwas. I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Uh... So I'm just gonna need a minute to process what just happened. <laughs> So 
I touched the beacon, something happened. And then suddenly I'm fine. But the evil dude seems to think that I activated it or used it. Did I get special powers? Oh my god, if I have special powers, oh my god. How did I end up here? Oh my god, special powers, oh my god. How long was I out? Special About power. 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. You think? It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Don't blame yourself. You had no way to know what would happen. Yeah. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. Right. The blast knocked you cold. Okay. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Superpowers. Abnormal beta waves. Superpowers. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. Oh my god, so that cutscene was a vision? I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. Sure, she just told in me mind. that something was abnormal. I, I oh, yes, it's all normal. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Um... All... all of this... I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. <gasps> Thank you, Senpai. Thank you. Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Wait, who was that? Was that- was that the lady in my party? Actual question. Was that the lady in my party? Yes? Alright, well I wanted to hang out with her a little bit more. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Yeah, that. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. All right. Um. Yeah, I am. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Yeah. Nihilus is dead. Yep. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. Does look pretty bad, the doesn't it? going to want answers. <laughs> oh, this is so odd. This is like an internal battle between like... <laughs> between like the chaotic good and chaotic evil in my brain. <laughs> Hard to not constantly pick the chaotic evil. <laughs> oh, I did my job. See, I feel like I did my job is a bit too full of myself for me. Like, I feel it's a bit like, well, I'm, I'm all right. Like, screw everybody else, but I'm all right. I did my job. We've got nothing to hide. I mean, we don't have anything to hide, but also, like, seriously, these council people, I'm just less and less impressed. I'm going to be honest. The council can kiss my ass. I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. 
I'll stand behind you and your report, Severin. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. I mean... A lot of aliens think that way. Kind of go point. <laughs> Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Oh, do I tell him? Do I tell him? I trust him. I do. I trust him. How am I gonna play this? I do trust him. I do. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? A warning. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. How do you say that, though? That's the kind of thing that only somebody who really knows you and trusts you would believe if you said it to them. And I feel like everything I've learned about the council, they would just not understand. What are we going to tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I can't imagine if he said that to me, what would I say? He has the secrets from the beacon, he has an army of Gethis command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Nah! Definitely not! Not if I- yeah, alright, not if I can help it. That's- that's the closest. I'll find some way to take him down. No! It's not that easy. He's a spectre. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the council on our side. Oh god, this is such a hard set of decisions! I just don't understand how we're going to make them believe us. Understood, sir. We expose him. They can't help us. I don't think any of those are really accurate. I think the closest is we expose him because I think we have to tell them. We have to tell them something. We can't just be like, oh, nothing happened. Everything's good. Don't worry. Let's move swiftly on. We're all good. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the council will revoke his specter status. Yeah. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. All right. I guess we do that then. I realize I haven't saved, so let's do that right now. Oh, Lord. New save. <clears throat> yep, a uh, brand new save, please. Because I definitely haven't saved the game the whole time. Oh, Lord. <laughs> just, just make sure it's there. Cool. All right. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> it's all right. We made it. We did it. Trance, thank you so much for the four month resub. Lots of fun watching you play this for the first time. You're doing great. Enjoy it. Thank you so much, Trance. Welcome back. I appreciate your... I appreciate your four month reason with your prime welcome back. Imagine if the game crashed. Oh lord, imagine. What a shame we just have to play it all the way through. I don't think I'd make the same decisions though. That's so interesting. It's so interesting. I don't think I'd make the same decisions. If I, if I, if for some reason I lost the save and we had to start again straight away, I 
I don't think I'd make the same decisions. And I totally understand why you all wanted me to play this game. I completely, completely understand why you wanted me to play this game. It hits all the things I love. It's space, it's really complicated, like emotional decisions, figuring out tactics. It's just... I'm gonna love this game. I'm gonna absolutely love this game. Story, right, right. Ooh. That's why a first playthrough of Mass Effect is such a great thing to witness. Heat of the moment decisions are usually decisions looking back. And also I think when you don't have the, when you don't have the understanding of where the game is going or what's gonna happen, when you really don't understand what's about to happen, you don't have the context for the next decisions. Do you think you'll go back to character creation? Yeah, let's do, let's talk about character creation. I think I just I think I just skipped straight past it. I think I was just like, oh yeah, that's my name. Off we go. <laughs> that's a true. It's like true cooler style. True cooler style. Oh yeah, I've pressed those buttons. Off we go. <laughs> Press those. Off we go. Uh, uh, she likes the game. I really do. I really, really, really do like the game. I really do. <sighs> You're a serial reloader. What, like you saved before decisions and then did it again? You skipped pretty much everything. I was surprised. I didn't realize that I was doing it. I was too excited to play. I was just like, oh, she's ginger. Cool, let's go. <laughs> I really like how this game makes you choose something with incomplete information. So much incomplete information. Like, so much. Every single decision, I'm like, I don't have enough information for that. I don't have enough information of that. I also, I also, <laughs> no one. <laughs> Blame DJ. I just lost the game. Damn it. Happy two years. Happy two years, buddy. Welcome back. Thank you so much, Wonk. Happy two heckin' years. Love you, buddy. Welcome back and welcome home. Happy two Wonks. Happy two Wonky Donks. Mm. It does. It makes you want to discover why. It makes me want to figure out why that happened. I want to ask more questions. And that's a huge reason why I picked in my, um, I don't know which one it is. Journal, squad, where my talents are. I don't know which one they are. Not that one. This one. That's a huge reason why I picked these. And I, I feel like this is really hard. And again, please don't, please no spoils chat and please no backseating here. I'm a but teacher. it's been really, it was really hard for me to figure this bit out. Um, Fenris, thank you so much for two months. Welcome back. I guess that means the first one was a mistake. How lovely. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Thank you. The replay value on this game is massive. Mm -hmm. I, yep, I, I believe it. I, be, I absolutely believe it. I think the, um, I think the, the big reason why I chose Charm and Intimidate is because of exactly that. I'm sitting looking at these decisions and I'm like, I don't know, I don't have enough information to be able to make these decisions, which m must affect gameplay in some way. So how, like, how, do I, how am I supposed to make this decision? And that's the reason why I put those points into Charm and Intimidate. Um, but this is really, tri this is really, really tricky. This is really tricky to look at and think what's useful because it just feels like all of it is. And actually, it's not that, like, it's all useful in situations. It's like it's all useful in pretty much every situation. I mean, guns dependent. I will need to have a look at the guns as well because I just, I don't even know. I figured out what the sniper rifle is. <laughs> hey! But I don't know what the other ones are. So... I will have a little look and maybe maybe go through that a little bit to figure that out but we've got a lot of stuff to read um my my hands i have had to put some buttons on my right hand um just because this game is so but i've just realized for those of you who have come in and, and you didn't hear me say this at the start um i uh 
I, uh, I have a condition called ankylosing spondylitis. It's a form of inflammatory arthritis. It affects primarily people's backs, but for me, it also affects the connective points between my uh, my bones and my muscles. Um, so uh, it, basically huge inflammation there. Um, it has been pretty bad in the past. I unfortunately wasn't able to play games for quite a long time. Um, and there's more about this on YouTube. If, if you're interested in the decisions around this and the kind of progression through different control schemes, you can see all of this on YouTube. And if you are on YouTube, there's more on YouTube. <laughs> Hi. Um, and uh, the really amazing news is that, that very recently, a few weeks ago, I had a new kind of treatment, which was injections in my elbows and in my um, and in my hands. And it's helped massively, hugely helped uh, to the point where there's no way that I would have been able to play this game if that hadn't worked uh, because this control scheme is really complex so we use the xbox adaptive controller with various switches and buttons put, pulled in i prefer to play games with my left side so my left foot and my left hand because that's the way that i experience things in the least amount of pain possible this game needs more than that because you need to be able to put you need to have your your effectively your fingers on the shoulder buttons and both thumbsticks at the same time so I had to add some uh, some controls in on my right hand as well, uh, which has been a lot more sustainable than I thought it was going to be, which has been fantastic. And there will be a few things that I play around. I'm going to put a different, I'm going to put a shoulder button on my foot that isn't currently on my foot because I think that will make it a lot easier for me. Um, I will do a video about this in the future. <laughs> I will do a video about this and what my control scheme is for this particular game because I imagine that people are gonna um, be a little bit interested in how I play it. Um, but it's worked, which is fantastic. And actually, there's only a few times where I've had to look down and be like, oh yes, what did I bind that to? <laughs> like, what's that? What did I bind that to? Which is fantastic. Um, so the great news is, I love this game. The great news is that it is playable. Yes. The great news is that it's sustainable for several hours at a time. Yes. <laughs> all of the above which is so wonderful which is so wonderful i'm on console no i'm not on console um so the xbox adaptive controller is it works the same as the xbox controller in that you can plug it into a pc um and uh, and it works really well if you if you haven't heard of this before please go and have a look at our friends at special effect uh they are wonderful they're a uk-based charity if you've seen any of our charity work before we've we've raised over twenty thousand pounds for special effect this year which is wild absolutely wild chat um and they helped me with this control and set up a control scheme and that kind of things um, and it's sort of evolving i'm changing it depending on what my physical ability is at the time and the games that we're playing as well um but i'm just really pleased that that i have as much physical ability uh, at the moment that's the best way to put it at the moment to be able to play this um, yeah, it's good that you only play once per week so your hands get to rest. So that, that's also one of the reasons why we're only doing, we're doing Mass Effect Mondays on Twitch that will then load up onto YouTube on Wednesdays. Um, and that's one of the reasons. So I can sit and play it in a very complex style and I can really get stuck in without having to stop every two minutes and give myself a physical rest because I need one. Um, so I, I feel like it's a lot, it's, it's awesome for us to be able to limit it so I'm able to enjoy it more and so I'm able to get more of the game, more out of the game. Um, and then during the week, we will do our other normal stuff and play games that uh, that might have a slightly reduced control scheme that I'm able to handle a little bit easy, easier physically, if that makes any sense. Um, Mass Effect dialogue options is basically like a personality test. It's it's sort of like a personality test, but it's also what do you want to do? Because it's not necessarily, you don't necessarily have to play you, right? you can play any kind of character that you want to play you don't necessarily have to answer the questions and answer the game like you would answer it and i think i'm on that line where i'm sort of most of the time answering it as if it was me but not always you know not always hmm hmm uh, um when in VR, my right now I said I didn't go, I have enough buttons, so I have a small X keys expansion thing. Oh, you're talking about Elite? Um, no, it's not really, it's not actually the reason why I'm not playing Elite Dangerous at the moment. Um, I did make a video, you can do exclamation mark Elite. Um, I did make a video to kind of cover that. Um, it's one of the boundaries that's stopping me getting back into Elite, the controller and setting up the controller. Um, but it's not the primary reason. I just burn out on it, basically, more than anything. I love it. I love it to bits. It's one of my favorite games. I just adore it. And I burn out on it and I don't want to play it for the sake of content because the content will be terrible because I wouldn't be enjoying it. Um, and I don't want to ruin it for me. I don't want to ruin it for myself. I have got to the point where I'm starting to miss Elite and I'm waiting for the point where I really cannot wait to play it. 
because I know that I will I will not only have the most enjoyment and engage with the game the best when I really want to play it, but also it will make the best content with that. Yeah. So lots of stuff with that. Elite is a question for another day. That's not a topic that I'm going to cover in any more depth today. Um, so shall we have a look at the codex? Uh, the reason I sort of give you all of this backstory on, on hands and stuff now, I'm aware that we have a lot of new people here. Hi, everybody. If you've come in today, it's really lovely to meet you. Thanks for being here. Um, thank you so much for everybody who's come in and dropped a follow as well. It's been really lovely to meet you. Thanks for hanging out today. Uh, we usually are a very engaged chat. There's usually a lot of back and forth and a lot of in uh, like engagement here. Um, but it's been less so today. We're not finishing, by the way. We've still got a lot of codex stuff to look at. It's been less like that today, uh, just so I can get stuck in and not get distracted from the, from the stuff. Um, but yes. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Citadel and Galactic Government. Potato. Also potatoes. Silmar. Silmar, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Sinus. Florian, welcome back. Happy four months. Sinus, thank you. Thank you. Welcome back, Silmar. That's super generous. Thank you for welcoming them back in. <laughs> Normally, this is one of the most interactive streams I know for all the new people. It is. It's a very, very interactive stream, usually. I have a question. Would a rarer type of controller like the Daytan Personal? So my, my controller is a custom controller. Um, you can do exclamation mark controls. Please go and have a look on YouTube to have a look at what it is. Um, the Xbox Adaptive Controller is specifically designed for people who have different needs for accessing computer games. Um, so it already is a specialist controller that you can plug individual switches into as well and set up your entire own format. Spoopy! Spoopy, thank you so much for gifting those five subs. Thank you, Spoopy. Ridiculously generous. Welcome in, everybody. I hope that you love your emotes. I hope that you love them. I hope that you love them. Uh, so to play experience, it's like scratching it. It just elite. I miss space. I miss space games, but this is definitely scratching that. Definitely scratching that itch. Thank you so much, Spoopy. Thank you so much. All right. Although the Citadel is equipped with mass effect generating element zero cores, most of the gravity on the station is generated by the centrifugal force of rotation. Rotation 3.5 minutes per revolution. Rotational gravity. <laughs> Rotator. <laughs> Sir Ronlin. Sir Ronlin, thank you so much for gifting that sub. Thank you. Thank you. What did you say? What did you say, Arbel? I missed it and I can't tab out. What did you say? Um, uh, rotational gravity in wards 1.02 earth, rotational gravity in presidium. I, I don't think this is going to make any sense to me. 13.2 million. Wow, not including keepers. It's a lot. That's a, it's a lot, chat. Okay, so we looked at that before. Ships and vehicles. Uh, a friend of mine mentioned the idea, stop early, don't wait until you feel burnt out. I've tried it myself and it's helped me a lot with games. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, 100%. Also, that's great advice for life as well. If you were able to, uh, to future, to see in the future the burnout, whether it be on a game or on a, on a lifestyle or on a job or on whatever it is that you're doing, if you're able to foresee it and plan for it to stop early and take a step back, it's pretty, pretty amazing. I completely agree. Lion, thank you for thanking Spoopy there. Thank you. Um, okay, Starship sensors. Light lag prevents sensing in real time at great distances. A ship firing its thrusters at the Chir Chiron, Chiron relay can be easily detected from Earth. 5.75 light hours, 6 billion kilometers wow, away. But Earth will only see the event 5 hours and 45 minutes after it occurs. Due to the light speed limit, defenders can't see enemies coming until they have already arrived because there is FTL travel and communications. But no FTL sensors. Frigates are crucial for scouting and picket duty. Passive sensors are used for long range detection while active sensors obtain short range, high quality targeting data. Passive sensors include visual thermographic and radio detectors that watch and listen for objects in space. A powered ship emits a great deal of energy. The heat of the life support system, the radiation given off by power plants and electrical equipment, the exhaust of the thrusters. Starships stand out plainly against the near absolute 
zero background of space. Passive sensors can be used during FTL travel, but incoming data is significantly distorted by the effects of the Mass Effect envelope and Doppler shift. Active sensors are radars and high-resolution LADARs, laser detection and, range, and ranging, that emit a ping of energy and listen for return signals. LADARs have a narrower field of view rather than, than radar, but LADAR resolution allows images of detected objects to be assembled. Active sensors are useless when a ship is moving at FTL speeds. Hmm. Interesting. Whoa, we have a lot to look at, hey? A lot to look at. Bibliophis paying that gift sub forward. Thank you so much, Bibliophis, for paying that forwards. Holy butts. Super generous. Ever gifting a sub. Thank you so much, Ether, to give that sub to Ash. Oh, you gave it to Ashley Williams. You gave it to, you, you gave it to Ashley Williams in one gift. <laughs> of course, one quid gift a sub to Hayley Williams. <laughs> of course. Of course, and Jayla. I love her. Look, Jennifer Lawrence, if you're out there, just think you're great. <laughs> Codex, here we are. This is a love gift subs chat. So thank you so much for gifting the Codex a gift sub. DJ, thank you for gifting a sub to Jennifer Lawrence. Uh, have you heard about Have you heard about our, have Lord, you heard and about our Lord and Savior? <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence, have I been screaming? Because my voice, my throat feels like I've been screaming. Did I scream at some point during this playthrough? Probably. <laughs> it's highly likely. <laughs> Cat break. Don't touch the belly, it's a trap. Should we see what happens there? Roughly 1,200 years ago, the Turians were invited to join the Citadel Council to fulfill the role of galactic peacekeepers. The Turians have the largest fleet in Citadel space, and they make up the single largest portion of the Council's military forces. As their territory and influence has spread, the Turians have come to rely on the Salarians for military intelligence and the Asari for diplomacy. Okay. Despite a somewhat colonial attitude towards the rest of the galaxy, the ruling hierarchy understands they would lose more than they would gain if the other two races were ever removed. There's so much law. Turians come from an autocratic society that values discipline and possesses a strong sense of personal and collective honor. There is lingering animosity between Turians and humans over the okay, first this is what they were talking about earlier. war of 2157, which is known as the Relay 314 incident to the Turians. Officially, however, the two species are allies, and they enjoy civil, if cool, diplomatic relations. Cool. My God, I feel like I'm reaching saturation point with the law right now. <laughs> Do we have to take notes? That's a good question. Is there going to be a test? Is there going to be a test? <laughs> You got too much. It's, do you know what? It's not that there's. All right, let me rephrase then. It's not necessarily that there's lots of law. It's that it's that the law has been dropped on me all at once. Boom! Look at all of this. <laughs> and it's a lot to take in. It's a lot to take in. Um, I think what I'm gonna have a little look at is equipment. And I'm just gonna do this. So, selected item, more damage, less accuracy. Hmm. So I should probably swap that. Because you said the number is better if it's higher on the heat sink. So that's a high that's higher DPS and a drop of three on the accuracy. It's exactly the same. Okay, I'm gonna equip that. Equip. And then this was my old one, which is substantially worse, so I'm gonna 
convert that item into omni gel yes i'm really hoping that i'm doing this right and they're the same so i'm i should kind of hold on to those in case i i think i should hold on to those in case i have squad members who need it maybe okay so that's better All right, let's equip that one. And we will convert that one. Yeah, I don't think that's worth I don't I don't think that's worth it for me. That's a different heat sink. I don't know. I could be completely wrong here though. So 1977. So that's much better. And that's Hydra too, so that's going to be the best because it's two rated, I think. And that's not for a human. So let's go for that one. It's all in preparation for your Citadel Citizen exam, which must be completed in triplicate within 48 minutes. Oh my goodness, don't. I just... My brain. <laughs> my brain. Fall over. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Thank you. Um chat i have an actual question i have an actual question can i just leave these here in this area do i have to do something with them can i just leave them there yes i just leave them there then huh my guess is now i've seen they're like word and then one so i'm guessing all the ones i'm not going to use but i'm just curious because when i have friends again <laughs> ouch <laughs> note that i said when <laughs> note that i said note that i said when <laughs> such wishful thinking god um Hopefully, maybe they'll be useful to them. I don't know. Speak to the Joker. I want to know how I got these cars. And then there are all the things. So I think... If I save this here... Yes. Friends, not food. Friends, not food. Friends, not food. Friends, not food. Oh my lord. The Joker, wrong game. Why do I keep walking through little force fields? It's really stressful. What's this? All right. Uh, replenished something just then. Glad to see you're okay. Hi. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew. And yeah. I'm glad we didn't lose you too. So just, oh my God. Jenkins will be missed. Jenkins will be missed, but I also want to ask how you're holding up. I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. Ooh, the Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to level more concessions out of the Alliance. I don't want to say don't worry about it, and I don't want to say keep it to yourself. So I, I, the other option, it seems like you've been around. I feel like so many of my decisions in this game are... I can't say that option, and I can't say that option, so, so therefore that one. You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Uh, ooh. 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 What would I say? What would I say? What would I say if I was... I think I'd avoid the question. Yeah, I think I'd, we'll I'd avoid the time. question. Make sure you're good to go for this meeting with the ambassador. Aye, aye, ma'am. 
Who's that? All these people. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Personal questions. Potato. Personal questions. Oh! Anonymous, thank you so much for gifting me a sub. <laughs> thank you so much, Anonymous, for gifting me a sub. I appreciate that. Thank you. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. That surprised but humanity me! Humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. I didn't expect her to tell me! I didn't expect her to tell me that! I, like, I expected her to be kind of, um, I don't know what the word is, stoic? Do I mean stoic? No, I'm not sure if that's what I mean. Kind of, like, like, over-professional to the point of not engaging any kind of emotional, personal experience. I just didn't, I didn't expect her to... Cypher. Cypher, thank you for gifting a sub to Skolo. I'm sure I don't know who that is, but it is a two-month resub. <laughs> aloof! Yes, aloof! That's exactly... Hi, so, so dash. is that how I say it? Aloof, that's exactly what I meant. Professionally detached, that too. Yep. I wanted to give a sub to the real you. How dare you? <laughs> how dare you? No, Alex, stop it. State? I don't know, Kiris, I don't know what that means. Dis sort of distance, Darko. More, more aloof than that, though. Like, pr like pr the professional distance thing. Yeah, definitely there somewhere. Can I investigate any further? Potato. Can I ask her if there's any regrets? It feels a bit personal, though. So, thank you for gifting a six-month resub to my evil twin. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Google says adjective. Uh, sedate respectable and unadventurous oh cool okay that's a really good word i don't think unadventurous i think just more distant like not not open wouldn't share that with me i'm surprised that she would share it with me ever think you made the wrong choice sometimes i think about opening a private practice back on earth or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies but there's something special about working on soldiers if i left the alliance now i'd feel like i was abandoning them Interesting. All right, let's ask about, about the captain. captain Anderson. I like him. Him. I trust him. Tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. Yeah. The crew knows he's it. seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into, and he cares about the people under his command. All right, I'm warming to her. I'm warming to her. I agree with. I I completely agree with her assessment of the Captain Anderson. I respect her answer about why she enlisted. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that mean? What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Is this corresponding to the spine? Like the L2, L3? What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Wow. It's harrowing, isn't it? And this is why Mass Effect is so good. From a small bit of dialogue, you get real personality from the NPCs. It's absolutely I wild. Go. Goodbye, Commander. Okay. Goodbye. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew I actually... some good news after what happened to Jenkins. We missed. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. 
What the hell am I supposed to pick out of these options? Like, you earned it, but wh why would I possibly say you earned it to somebody when in the context of talking about a fallen friend? Because surely that implies that they didn't earn it. No! But also, she worked really hard. I kind of want to say you earned it, but without the implication that other people didn't. So I'm just like, oh my god, Tildury, this is the second. It's not the first. So we can say it's the second time. It's certainly not the first time that we've had that option. And, and I've just, I can't believe it. <sighs> just saying that Ashley earned to jump in regardless of what happens to Jenkins. I, I'm going to say you earned it, hoping that that's what that means. Hoping that it's nothing to do with... saying anything about anyone else just purely saying it about ashley You're a good soldier williams you belong on the normandy yeah all right good Thanks, okay Commander. good with that i appreciate that yeah things were pretty rough right, down cool. there are you okay i've seen friends die before it comes with being a marine but to see my whole unit wiped out and you never get used to seeing dead civilians but things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up yep you helped we couldn't have done it without you williams yep thanks commander I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. Glad to have you. I think you're gonna yep. fit in here just fine. Absolutely. Williams. Thanks, Commander. I love her. I really, really like Ashley. What an absolute gem. I was, I thought she was gonna die. Usually, when I play a game and I get attached to a character very quickly, they die. Within the next 30 minutes of gameplay, they die. Hi, can I, do you want to, do you want to talk? No? Okay, all right. It's that lady again. Oh, what's that? Oh! Uh, all right, okay. Just randomly picking up weapons? Are they any good? I don't know what it was that I picked up. This suddenly makes more sense to me now. Chat, I just have to tell you, the first time I picked I picked up an item, I looked at this screen and I was like, what does any of that mean? <laughs> what does any of that mean? And it's really strange because now I look at it and I'm like, oh, of course, why did I not realize that the first time? Mass Effect UI in a nutshell, really. Ambient music is so nice. The music is so nice in this game. It really is fantastic. I like that it tells us where we are just in case we forgot. It's almost like this game knew I was going to play it. <laughs> I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. What's that? Galaxy map? Why can't I open it? Oh my god. I don't wanna... I don't wanna specify a destination, I just wanna look at it. So beautiful. Isn't space so cool? Isn't space so cool? I am still amazed at these people that they're touch typing. I don't know what they're doing really. Stuff. They look comfy though. Okay, 
going to get in here? What's in this? Hello? Is it me you're looking for? Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring <laughs> us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Oh, cool! sizes and everything why so touchy joker i'm just saying you need firepower too look at that monster its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the alliance fleet good thing is on our side then citadel control this is ssv normandy requesting permission to land stand by for clearance normandy clearance granted you may begin your approach transferring you to an alliance operator roger alliance tower normandy out Tower, please proceed to dock 422. is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. I'm very mad at this game. Because it gave me the most beautiful, beautiful space landing. And I was like, oh my god. And then we landed and there were plants. And then it threw me immediately into some dialogue that I had to pay attention. And my brain was like, but plants, but, but there's plants, but there's plants. <laughs> <laughs> but what about the beautiful space clouds? But what about the plants? It's like, it's like my distracted brain is like, but what about? And the other bit's like, oh, just focus, just focus, Carlo, just focus, just really focus. Come on, just focus, just on this one bit of dialogue. Just focus, just focus, just focus. It's really hard. <laughs> oh, I just think this is sort of a summary about. It's a bit of a heavy hitting thing to say, but this this dude's reaction is kind of a very uh, good summary of a lot of what is wrong with the world. Oh, we don't like our main dude being accused of something. Not like, of course, it's really important that we look into this and make sure we can either clear his name or 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 get this sorted. It's like, how dare you? This is very inconvenient to us that you would accuse. <laughs> that you would accuse someone <laughs> like uh... all right it's the truth they're blind he's dangerous uh it's true saren's a threat to every human colony out there if they don't stop him i will settle down commander you've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy oh, jog on. Oh, the jog mission on. on eden prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done instead nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed that's saren's fault not hers then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. 
Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. Who put him in charge? And that's why I hate politicians. <laughs> Somebody said in chat that Ashley was divisive. Um, I really, please don't spoil it for me, friends. Please don't tell me why Ashley is divisive. I don't want to know. It just makes me really sad that something might happen because I just love her. I think she's hilarious. I just really appreciate her. And usually when I appreciate a character, they either betray me or die. So. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Katus. Respectfully, get then, Udena. <laughs> uh, put him in charge, I guess. Oh, of course they did. <laughs> okay, now can I have a look at the plant, friends? Look! Oh my god, can I get down there? Right, how do I get? How do I get down there? Do I have to be efficient right now? I want to go down and look at the plants. Let me out. Down. Plants! Oh, so many. Oh, look what they did. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. So pretty. So pretty. Dear people who made the leaves in Mass Effect, I appreciate you very much. Thank you. And ...is based on a German superstition. In Germany, though, it's not a groundhog that forecasts either an early spring or a longer winter. It's a badger. Potato. From the animals. Hi! Hi! Well, they built can we? Quite the lake. Can we be friends? If anyone ever drowned in it. Oh my 
my god, amazing! Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Did I walk straight past you? Are you a hologram? Avina. Oh. Anon, thank you so much for gifting a sub to the Citadel. Thank you so much. I love it. Welcome in, Citadel. That's crazy. It's so beautiful. I love the atrium. I love the atrium. I love the plants. I love it. I feel like there's so much media that's about space stuff. There's so there's so much space related media that just is like technology, 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 technology. And like everything is simulated and there's nothing natural at all in any kind of in any way. And it's just my absolute favorite when I play a game that's that doesn't ignore that and like brings that in in some way it's also why i love the the um those stations in elite as well that have the same thing color was distracted and missed what she said what did she say what uh okay apparently i missed something don't tell me what it was chat i'm sure i'll figure it out Greetings eventually and welcome to the presidium my name is avina and i am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the citadel space station what does that mean i am a fully interactive virtual intelligence programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the citadel i may also be contacted through any of the presidium vi terminals should you require assistance? Cool. Give me the tour. You are standing at Please. Presidium Tourism Terminal One. Please. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Oh my goodness. All right. Goodbye. We're good. Goodbye. And All right. Thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Hi! I just want to meet everybody. Can we meet? Can we meet everybody? Can we make friends with everybody? Hi. Oh. Nobody wants to talk to me. Hi! Hi! Hello? No one wants to talk to me. <laughs> Hello? Hi! Oh, I, I wasn't looking for directions. I just want to meet everyone. <laughs> just want to talk to people! from different cultures and different times and different places oh my god look at the tree on the lake <gasps> hi no one wants to talk to me i want to learn about your world to whoa Sure is peaceful here. Woohoo! Humble store purchase made for year 59, 99. Oh! Did somebody buy Mass Effect Legendary on Humble Bumble? Thank you! Thank you for using the Humbly Bumbly link. That supports charity and it supports the stream. Thank you. Can I make a ch actual question? Can I, can I speak to this person? I would like to make friends. 
Actual question, is it possible? Can I make friends with this, this creature? No? Excuse me, friend, um, chat, tell me that I can't make friends with you. Is it okay if I take your picture? Because I think you're really fascinating and you're doing a really good job. Can you imagine how terrifying that would be if you were a, a tiny bug on the floor? Whoa. I want to do like over his shoulder. So we get a sense of his work. But thank you so much. That's super duper generous. Thank you so much for the 2167. Thank you so much for the tip. That's super duper generous. Thank you. <sighs> this is, excuse me team. This is our new team member. I call this meeting. <laughs> this place is a little too perfect. You're hiding something. Oh, don't say that, Ashley. I was really enjoying myself. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Oh, Ashley, please don't. Well, they've built themselves quite the lake. Wonder if anyone ever drowned in it. This place is a little too perfect. They're hiding something. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Actual question, chat. How do you kick somebody out of your party? Actual question. How do, you, how do you kick someone out of your party? <laughs> Never changed my mind so quickly about somebody ever. <laughs> Get someone else to replace them. All right, well, let's do that as soon as we possibly can. For God's sake, Ashley, I... I, I had such faith. I had such faith that she was not just not gonna be like that what a shame what a great what a great shame damn it <laughs> can we have a bug dude yes can i kick ashley out and have the bug dude <laughs> oh what's in here an what? elevator oh wrong answer only Drown her in the lake. It would be a Alright, let's not make this maybe not make jokes like that. It's a bit dark. I mean, I'm trying to figure out how to kick her off my team, not kill her. Big difference. Oh hello, who is this? Embassy receptionist. Hi there. Good day, Commander. Thank the you. Human ambassadors up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. Cool. Personal question? What is this place? 
This is the Presidium. More hmm. specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. I like asking them personal questions. questions. Please access Avina. Oh, we know Avina. We've been to. We've seen Avina. Do you think you're gonna? What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. Yeah, all right. I'm sorry. I realized that I've, uh... Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hi, Lucifer. Sorry, I missed the start. Really sorry. Don't you dare apologize. Hi, it's nice to see you. I love watching people experience Mass Effect for the first time. I watched the start later to see Eden Prime. I hope you love it. If you if you prefer watching on YouTube as well, I also have a YouTube channel and we're uploading. So we'll play Mass Effect every Monday and upload the episodes to YouTube on Wednesday. So you've got two options there if you want to go and say hi to that. For sure. When you represent tr with trillions of the... It does. That's true. Can I ask What's you your name? one? What do you do here? Oh, it's the same My one. My name is Sephiria. The I'm the administrative one. assistant for the embassies. Any more? All right. I should be going now. Okay. Have a pleasant day. I got, oh, wait, so I get XP from speaking to people? I've been so interested in what people have to say that I didn't even realize I get XP for speaking to them. All right, friends. Now I think here, looking at the, looking at the the nonsense in the Citadel, I think this is a good time to say good night and time to walrus friends do i need to do an actual question do i need to do anything more to save can i have i just done it right i can just exit the game from here do i need to do i need to do anything else here actual question no done that save is enough i just did i think moose Just to be sure. You could just enjoy the trees and then quit. All right, that sounds good. I'm gonna leave the music on in the background while we while we while we uh, don't go down. Friends, what a lovely game! Holy butts! I'm so glad I'm playing it. Silma, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Ma Maparon. I don't know how to say your name. Thank you so much for being here. It's lovely to meet. It's lovely to have you here. And Silma, thank you so much for your generosity and welcoming them in. Thank you. Thank you. When will you continue? Mondays. So we're going to play Mass Effect every Monday. And then it will be... Uh... Oh, I've just seen there was a Moaning Myrtle <laughs> summon three hours ago. I'll just refund Hello. those points. I loved it. Every second yeah, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I really have really, really enjoyed this. I... I assumed that I was going to like it. And also because Moose did a whole bunch of investigation for me um, to... Uh, to, to check it out for controls and stuff and Moose knows me really well. I mean, you guys all know me really well, um, but Moose knows me very, very well. And I know that if you all suggest a game and you're like, Carlo, you will really like this game, I have to pay attention to it because you know me very well. But also that Moose was like, yeah, you're, you're going to like this. But also he said something about needing to pay attention. And I was like, oh man, maybe this is not the game for me. But it's so good. Really enjoyed it. And I think it's going to be a struggle to wait until the following week I, I feel like it's going to be a struggle to wait to the next episode um but that is what we're going to do partly for for physical and accessibility reasons um and partly just to have a, a very routine schedule there so people know when they can tune in for for the for the continuation of the playthrough yeezy thank you so much for using your prime sub here thank you so so much i appreciate you dropping that here thank you best count indeed he did a he did a great he did a great job for sure. Fiom, thank you for your bits. Thank you so much for earning that insane bit badge. Oh my we goodness. Might have to say that Colo streams on Mondays for a while. Less than three. <laughs> Soul, thank you very much for the two hundred bits. It will unfortunately be the only time, just because it is very complex control wise, and I just need to make sure that I'm not pushing myself to to um to use my hands in in a way that's gonna hurt me long term and and uh and be a problem for me to continue streaming i want to still be able to stream and i want to be able to enjoy it um and that's really uh and that's really important to you i'm having a look to see who we can who we can go and say hello to um ooh. oh there's so many options holy butts who do we go and pick 
Um, let's, yeah, let's, oh no, oh damn, all right, let's raid somebody that we have not raided for a long time. Oh, that's really hard to do as well. Chat, why are so many wonderful people online? This is really hard. Um, oh, I know what we can do. We will, we will go and see somebody who, uh, whose favorite game is Mass Effect. She's not playing Mass Effect, but we will, we will go and see her. I think that makes a lot of sense. Thank you so much, everybody, for the, the, for, for being here and exploring this with me. Um, if you're old here, thanks for still being here. It blows my mind that you want to hang out so much and I really appreciate that you do. Thank you. Um, if you're new here, hi, I'm Kolo. It's nice to meet you. If you want to come back, maybe hit the follow button and we'll see you again sometime. That'd be pretty cool if you fancy doing that. Um, uh, you can find me in all of these places. I'm hopefully going to say all of the right things. <laughs> I'm going to do my best. You can follow me in all of these places as well. All of those places on chat, whichever is the best place that you like to be on all the time. Um, and uh, as you've heard me say a few times today, the episodes will be on YouTube as well. If you want to go and say hello over there. It's getting late here in Germany. Bye, Lion. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's been lovely to meet you. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Um, this is a very mega stream to moderate. And the mods, I think that you will agree, have done an absolutely incredible job today. An absolutely incredible job. I've seen nothing that I didn't need to. Incredible work. Um, for those of you who have been uh, timed out or had a message deleted, please don't take it personally. Uh, we do enforce our rules very, very, very strongly here to keep the same environment of being completely spoiler free, completely hint free, completely help free. Um, and I am quite confident that the mods may have broken a record today. <laughs> so wonk i think so i think the mods broke a record there have been a there's been a lot of action and they've done an incredible job mods thank you so much we genuinely would not be here without them we would not be able to play streams like to play games like this and do a stream like this um and they i wouldn't be able to offer you this experience of seeing it through somebody's eyes for the first time if the mods weren't here so please give them some credit they are wonderful people and we would not have been able to do it without them thank you so much hey goldie also please go follow goldie she's delightful and i love her very much um for sure and um let's go see we're gonna go and see andy the frenchy now andy the frenchy is a music streamer she's not she's not playing mass effect but mass effect is one of her favorite games um it's nonsense basically that's all you need to know it's complete and utter nonsense and you should be prepared to be thoroughly entertained it's, it's pretty much it it's pretty much what you need to know <laughs> she runs a very serious stream so serious she's very 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 serious exceptionally serious um vm please think about what you would like as your 1.25 billion bit badge <laughs> just let me know what you want you can have whatever you want for that moat just tell me and i'll sort it out all right <laughs> So to the other world seeing this the first one I've caught from the beginning. Amazing jumper. Thank you so much for being here. Found a reason to look forward to Mondays. My heckin' heart. My heckin' heart. Thank you. Oh, I'm so excited to play more of this on Monday. Hills yeah, hills yeah. Um, let's go see Andy. Let's 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 go see you. Yeah, Theo, think about what you've done today. Just think about it. Just think about what you've done today. Um, so I will, uh, I will see you. I will be back for some tabletop tomorrow. There's some information about that. I'll be back for some tabletop tomorrow. Otherwise, I will be back on Friday, on Sunday, and then I'll see you again for Mass Effect on Monday. Um, until then, please make sure that you tell the people that you love that you love them. And please make sure to treat yourself as kindly as you would treat somebody that you love. All right. Are we ready? Are we steady? Let's go, 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 go,